Okay, we've gone over a basic of equivalent fractions. How to get an equivalent fraction is multiplying a fraction by one whole or dividing a fraction by one whole. Now, fractions that equal one whole, whether that's three-thirds, two-halves, four-fourths, that's what we do. We multiply our starting one by any number divided by itself. Okay? And we can look at that. Any number divided by itself equals one. And any number times one or divided by one equals itself. So that's what we're going to be focusing on when we're looking at equivalent fractions. Some of the places that we'll see it just for practice and say we might have three fourths equals something. Uh, let's just do nine over something. Okay, so I go here and I go three times what equals nine? Well, three times three equals nine. Now, if I remember that I need to keep this equal, that I am timesing three-fourths by one whole to equal itself, then if I times the top by three, I have to times the bottom by the exact same thing. This way, I am timesing this fraction, three-fourths, by three over three, which equals one. So I times the top to get what I know, because three times three equals nine. So I just multiply the bottom, the denominators, by the same thing. So four times three equals 12. That way you can see that 3 fourths equals 9 twelfths. Another example of this may come in the other way. Say 40 over 48 equals blank, <laughs> blank over 6. So what do I do? 48 divided by what equals 6? Or 6 times what equals 48. I can do it either way. But I start with what I know. This I can figure out. I have no clue. There are plenty of answers for that. But there's only one answer for this. I can do it 48 divided by 6. Or I can do it 6 times whatever. I've just got to keep constant with whichever one I choose for that problem. So let's do 48 divided by 8 equals 6. So 48 divided by 8 equals 6. Perfect. Now, any number divided by one whole remains itself, remains an equivalent. So if I divide the bottom by 8, I've got to divide the top by the exact same thing. And I do 40 divided by 8 equals 5. That way we see that 40, 48 equals 5 sixths. Now, this blank can be anywhere out of these four portions. But what we do is we just start with what we know. 3 and 9, well, 3 times 3 equals 9. You can look at it, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And then, with this, I want to equal one whole. When I am timesing or dividing, let's make sure that it's one whole. And that way, we'll be able to figure out what is what fractions are equivalent to each other. So that's equivalent fractions part 2.